What's good, YouTube? Welcome to Proctor House Raw Wallace. Today is Valentine's Day, but we're actually headed to get an ultrasound to confirm pregnancy between Willow and Sergeant Timitor. Let's get to it. Take a lift from the bottom. I know it's hard to believe you can achieve it without them. And they gon' love though they doubt it. Better we got our big girl princess who is carrying eight monster puppies with Razor Timitor. Beautiful female. I'm excited to see what those puppies look like for sure. And right here is our female Willow. As you guys can see, she is looking chunky. She has gained quite a bit of weight since uh, the breeding with Sargent. Um, she has gained roughly 10 pounds since then. So I'm almost 100% positive that she did take. Um, we are loaded with puppies, but we will see. But she looks like a monster right now. And here goes a, a better view of that weight gain. As you guys can see, she has put on a lot of weight since the last video I did with her um, when I did the breeding with Sargent. Um, put on a lot of weight so like I said I expect nothing but good things um, during this ultrasound but we will see go ahead and get her loaded up so we can head out to get this ultrasound let's get to it so here we are we got our girl Willow de Yorkers and we just confirmed her pregnancy with Sergeant Timitor we got a nice size litter in here so I'm very very proud of our female here so you guys know Willow is my baby she's a baby on the yard I love all of my dogs but you guys know Willow has that very very special part in my heart and my family's heart for sure as you guys can see, we got puppies in there. We got multiple of them, so we are good to go. Quick little side-by-side -side view. Two puppies in there. So there it is. As you guys just seen, we just confirmed pregnancy between Willow and Sergeant Timitor. You guys just don't understand how happy I was when she moved that ultrasound machine over and seen that first puppy. Um, I was over over excited it's just insane for a lot of my og followers you guys been here for the whole process you seen when i built my kennels um you've seen the ups and some downs and you guys know my first letter i did with lexi and uh, ipods black illusion did not take then right after that i had a female named unique i bred her to a stud out here they're both show champions names rocco um she gave me just one puppy and then after those two females didn't work out i decided to move those females out of here uh, send them to their new retirement homes and bring in two new females, which then came our female princess. She gave me a uh, great, beautiful litter, high quality litter with iPods Black Illusion. And then I brought in my female Candy Rocco Roller um, and she ended up giving me a solo pup litter yet again. After Candy's litter was born, we found out that it was a stud issue and not a candy issue. I was so worried about that um, because we love Candy so much here. She is literally one of my favorite producing females and that's why I brought her here. As you guys know, she is a producer of bangers, bangers, bangers. Um, so I was very happy to learn that it was a stud issue and not an issue with Candy. And now we are here confirming our female Willow did take with Sergeant Timitor. We are expecting eight beautiful puppies, but keep in mind that this is going to be off of ultrasound. So there's always a chance, even if you did x-rays or not, but there's always a chance that there's always a give or take one or two puppies out of that litter. Um, but all of this goes to show you guys that there's no cheat code or easy way into this dog game. So all you new breeders out there who think you're gonna hop right in and, and magically have big numbers on litters and everything's gonna go great. For some of you guys, it will. But for the other half of you guys, it's gonna go the way it did for me. You know, I had three litters last year and had a total of eight puppies. You know? And there's always gonna be headaches in this dog game. That's why it's very important to jump in this game for the love of the dogs and not for money. Because if you guys add up all the man hours, you know, all the dog food, all the vet trips that you guys got to take on top of investing in the best quality dogs that you guys can afford. It's not a lot of money in this dog game for sure. And I hope the love, care, and passion for my dogs and this beautiful breed shines through my videos. So my final message today for all you new and upcoming breeders is to always keep those three things first. That's love, care, and passion for your dogs and the breed that you guys want to get into, and everything else will follow. And with that being said, I appreciate you guys tuning in today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, and when you guys do subscribe, be sure to hit that bell to turn on all post notifications to get notified when we do drop our videos, as well as giving us a follow on Instagram and TikTok, as well as a like on Facebook, all at Proctor House Rottweilers, and we are out. Take a lift from the bottom, I know it's hard to believe you can achieve it without them, and they gon' love though they doubt it. Better have stamina, cause success is a mountain.